There's nothing like chilling with my girls Just me and my divas taking over the world And what's up, Devos? Your girl April. So it's finally a time for the winning announcement for the hair giveaway for Two Lucky Windows, sponsored by Hair Bundles or Us. Um, if you're not aware, the winners were already also announced on Facebook on the 4th of January. However, I still wanted to show and I wanted to keep my end of the deal and show the wig that I made with their bundle hair, which I was sent three bundles of Peruvian kinky curly hair. And they were 18, 18, and 16 inches and a 16 inch or 14 inch closure. Along with that, I'm still going to announce the winners on my channel here. Congratulate the two lucky winners, which is Donna, Lindsay, and Daphne Smith. Um, they are the two lucky winners. They were the ones who received three bundles and a closure each. So congratulations to those two lucky winners These were picked actually through random.org. Um, so before I even posted the winners or am verbally telling you about the winners, this was already posted on Facebook um, via their information on the website so if you girls went to enter in the contest you already knew the rules you already knew when it was going to be posted and you already knew where to find it so yes they will be sending the winners the hair not to me so let's get into the hair that they sent me so i was sent like i said the three bundles of the peruvian kinky curly hair which i made a wig out of okay um the normal process on a mesh dome cap with the combs in the front and this wig is a little heavy i'm going to be honest and tell you this the so I wasn't too pleased with the closure and that's simply because it wasn't as kinky as the rest of the bundles. It had a somewhat different curl pattern. It was a little bit more silkier than it needed to be. I wanted it to exactly match and it really didn't. However, it's still a little blendable but it wasn't a perfect, perfect 100% match. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put her on. I wanted to keep it in its natural state just to show you guys the difference. So let's begin this video. Okay, ladies. So like I was saying, this is some really big hair. Um, I used the entire three bundles. Always made on a mesh spandex dome cap with the three combs. And I'm just going to apply some concealer to the outer portion of the unit this time instead of both. Sometimes you really don't need it. Um, I think I go overboard sometimes because I just am so like paranoid. I don't want anyone to know that it's a wig or I don't want you to be able to tell t too much. So I just do. I think I go overboard and I just do extra. But anyway, so I'm pulling out some of my hairs in the front just so that my natural hairline could show. You just don't want a wiggy hairline. That's the one thing you don't want when you're wearing a wig. So you try your best to blend it as blendable as possible now as you see my edges were a little thin so what I've just sprayed on it and it's just it's not wet spray it's like little tiny hair fibers it is topic which is a carotene hair filler fibers they're like little tiny hairs and they just go right on your head if you have thin edges or if you have any balding spots and it allows you to look like you don't have thin hair or balding spots. I love this stuff. I use it in like all of my videos because after wearing wigs for like 9, 10 years now, your hair does have a little damage to it. Um, and I don't think that I take care of it as well as I used to because I'm always wearing wigs. But anyway, for the most part, I'm going to be using one of my favorite hair glazes, which is 24 Hour Extreme Hold by Even New York. This stuff is like a must have if you want your hair to lay down on the sides. This is the only hair glaze I use right now at the moment and it lasts like a long time. So this is some gorgeous hair. It is soft. Unfortunately, the closure is not as exact. On a scale of nine, 1 to 10, I would rate the closure probably like a 8 or a 7.5 just because it's not the exact kinkiness. But other than that, it is blendable. Um, you really can't tell, but I was able to tell. But you know what? It is what it is, and it's still workable. So I'm going to go ahead and braid a little bit on the sides because this is some big hair, and I just didn't want it all in my face. A little bit more topic for those thin edges, and I'm ready to go, y'all. Ready to go. 
Okay, ladies. So here is their kinky curly Peruvian hair. Peruvian hair. Now the first things first is I don't know if they sent me a bundle that was off in a length because normally when I make wigs and they're all the same length, they kind of even themselves out. I did notice that with this one, the last track, the bottom track, the first track I sewed on was a little bit longer than the norm. So I'd have to go ahead and trim some of it off if it really bothered me like that. It's noticeable but not noticeable. Um, and the only thing that I really wasn't like, oh my god, I'm really, you know, like bugging out over is the closure wasn't like an exact kinky curly match. If you can tell. It's not that noticeable, but I notice it. Now, if I had to choose which one, I would probably choose the closure because this one is a kinky curly, but a softer. This is a little bit harder. Um, they're two different kind of curl textures. But they still blend. It's a lot of hair. It's the full three bundles that I use. Very kinky, very curly, very Afrocentric. And it's very pretty. I do like it a lot. It's very different for me. Other than that, I had no issues with the hair. No shedding, no tangling. Of course, a little shedding when I washed it and conditioned it. A little did come out, but nothing major. And that's to be expected. And if it's going to tangle, of course, they all tangle. All of my wigs tangle, and that's just because it's rubbing at the nape area. So there's really nothing you can do about that. But for the most part, for Bundles or Us hair, I do like their kinky curly hair. And it just gives me a totally different vibe and a totally different look. So if you want to check them out, I'll post the information below. They have bundle deals all around. And once again, congratulations to the ladies that won. And on that note, stay diva and divalicious. And I'll see you girls on my next video.